So for the rest of the time, um, I'm going to hopefully everybody brought a computer. I'm just going to bring out um, with this computer. I'm just using um, using our studio over here. But let me share this screen now. Okay, let me see if it just to work. Kind of complicated. Oh, okay, I can share my screen here. It's fine. Okay. Um, all right. Sorry about that. So let me also make sure. Okay. Yeah. So remote students, I think you should be able to see my uh, screen as well. I can see on my iPad. So I suppose that works. Uh, so the lab, if you go to our um, Moodle page, uh, it's in the chapter seven section. Okay, so it's an RMD file. Um, you can use your R and R Studio locally. Uh, for me, I'm just using the servers so we can demonstrate it. Uh, but nevertheless, once you open, download it and open it, it should just be a regular markdown file um, that you have over here. And um, so um, all I want to talk about is we actually gonna work with uh, beta priors in this lab, but in particular, uh, we're going to look at uh, two types of prior. Uh, both of them are beta. One is a single prior with A and B with specific values. And then uh, the other part, as you can see from the title of the lab itself, we're going to look at a mixture of beta priors, meaning that we don't have a single prior to work with, but we can represent a mixture of two betas that maybe in some cases we think can represent more of what our prior belief is. Okay. Um, so um, I hope everybody has experience with our uh, markdown, but if not, definitely um, let me know. We can meet separately over there. Um, but in the lab itself, I think we got, let's see, how many exercises? Uh, three exercises, I think, yeah. And um, the first two are really just single priors. I gave you some examples of how to plot, and some of you already have the examples earlier when you're working on homework one and all that. Um, and then exercise three, is a mixture of prior in a sense that we're thinking about. So you can see um, over here that we think about part of the prior is coming from this beta 2, 8, and the other part of the prior is coming from this beta A2. We have a particular four or three, uh, three versus one portion uh, proportion over here. And then we ask you to try to plot it out and then also um, do some analysis for, for the posterior. So I have a lot of sample code and everything in it. So I think if you slowly work through, uh, you will definitely start to make sense. And you should type your answers um, into the R chunk as well. And if you have any kind of text answers over there, you will just add uh, accordingly. Okay. So at the end of the day, I think if you knit, let me try to knit. Yeah, so yeah, I think the remote students can see that as well. Okay. So you will be needing the, um, uh, uh, the, the lab report into a PDF, okay? And um, so the sample code over here, I didn't print it out. Like I, I suppressed the output itself so we don't see the plot, but uh, when you are working through it, you should make sure that you will um, show the output and everything. And the other thing I want to mention and I will let you work on um, by yourself for the rest of the time is uh, for the lab, we're trying to do a group work. So if you want to see the group assignment, so if you, it's at the top of the Moodle page, the third link, if you click it uh, for lab one. So today is lab one's material. So I formed 12 teams among all of us. And uh, we have all like every team from the Vassar students group, uh, everybody's from Vassar and then the other two schools uh, we have just separate. Um, so for the first lab, wanted to make sure that you can also work with somebody locally as well if you want. Um, so, but then starting from next lab and later case study as well, I will start to um, merge the different school and institutions of students. Uh, what we mean uh, for submission is uh, each team only needs to have one um, submission in the end, okay? But you should work together to get uh, the solutions that everybody feels like submitting. And the submission, once again, is in this chapter seven chunk. And you will see that I asked for the markdown, not the PDF, yeah? Because I want to make sure that it can knit, okay? And also the grading will take place. So I will add my comments and everything in the markdown, and I will post the graded uh, markdown in, term, in, in the PDF format uh, for, for every team. 
And also each member should submit a copy of the group work to receive credit. Okay, so you should work, have one final. So for example, the first team, Isabella, Carl, and Noah, you all work together to craft one markdown, make sure that it can knit. Okay? And then each of you make your own submission. And then I will grade one copy and return that one copy for everybody in the same team. Make sense? Make sense? Okay, yeah. So I, I think that's all I have to really talk about the lab itself, but I will keep the uh, recording going and uh, anybody uh, has any questions, feel free to ask as you work through. And of course, um, you will probably spend some time outside of the class to work through it. And um, that's why we usually have for a week, we probably have, so this week is homework one due. So next week will be the lab one. And then we're gonna do every week one due item over there like this, okay? All right, so remote students feel free to ask questions as well. And I know you don't necessarily sit next to your teammates, um, but maybe we can keep the seating just for now so you can still work with others next to you. But for the submission and everything, you should work with your teammates according to this assignment. That's all. So I'm gonna pause. Yeah, so there is a quick clarification question here. And the answer is yes. Each person should submit a um, R markdown file and it should be uh, the same file or identical to, to everybody else in the same group, okay? And um, okay, uh, into color. So uh, Nate, I will work with you uh, separately in a second. And Sarah, did you have a question too? Yeah, I have problems with I just had a question about knitting it. The color? Yeah. Okay. I okay. made an edit on it and it works now, but it wasn't the one that. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So, Nathaniel, I guess this is probably a recurring question. So, um, all right. So, I know maybe we'll see. So, you probably noticed that I use certain colors just to label the different parts of the lab and stuff like that. And I was loading this X color package. And it could be that it doesn't work for some of you. I don't know. Like it sounds like Sarah, you have to make a quick fix. Yeah. Uh, is it for line eight, uh, line six or something else? Yeah. Uh -huh. I like looked it up the other day, but it, they told me to do it like this oh, and now okay. it all works. Okay. And it looks like that now. But... Yeah. But the color and everything works fine too. Oh, that's for the yeah. upper level one. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. So, yeah, so like now it works. Yeah, okay. I mean, it yeah. before. Sounds good. So, do you mind send me a quick email? Yeah, and I can, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just need that line of code that Sarah has. Yeah, oh, um, yeah. So, Sarah has a different line. So, I can, okay. So, so, okay. So, I guess the decision or will be that if you can knit in the way that I put it, great. You don't need to worry about it. But Sarah figured out another way to make it work if it doesn't work for you. So I will uh, paste uh, the new lines so you can swap out. If you are having issues over here on Moodle afterwards, and if you still have trouble, like we can work individually to solve it. Okay, so okay. Yeah. Great. So, yeah, thanks, Ned. Yeah, so the story is here. If you have no issues needing in the version that I submit, great. You don't need to worry about the packages. But so for some others, you might not be able to knit it properly because of the color that I'm doing yeah. over here. Yeah. And I will give you an alternative on Moodle if that happens to you. And all you need to do is just to swap out the first 10 lines. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm getting uh, Sarah's code over here and all I will do, okay. For everybody, I, I'm sure you can see my screen. So all that you need to do so okay first of all this was the original 10 lines okay and i was using this x color package in this particular way and it might not work for some of you so if that happens um what sarah figured out which works for her at least is that instead of using the package as a header includes line over here we do a class option and then it's actually the same i think uh the dvip D uh vips names and give it a try. So all you need to do is delete this line oh, yeah. and add an extra line like this to your header and try to give it a try. Yeah, give it a try to knit. If you had issue before, you might not like what I was doing on the server. It doesn't seem to have a problem, but if you do give it a try here. So at least we can figure that out while you're here. 
and then to be able to work on the last one for the rest of the real companies on the last one. Mm -hmm. On the same should be able to see it. Sorry, it's my goal. It'll be very small. Let me see if I can Did it fix it for some of you? No. Nope. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I can work to be a little 